Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the magnitude of a vector written in column vector form. Now in the previous video we looked at what a vector was and let's think what this 2 minus 9 actually means. The top number means the movement in x, the change in x. And the bottom number means the change in y. So vectors represent a movement. And if we were to draw that, if we have a starting point, the x value is increasing by 2, so let's increase our x value by 2, x is in the right direction, and the y value is decreasing by 9, so that's vertically down, if the y value is going down, so minus 9 like that. And the vector overall is pointing in this direction, and remember we put a little arrow to indicate the direction of the vector. So this is the movement that this vector represents. Now we want to find the magnitude of the vector. Now the magnitude of the vector is just the length of the vector. Basically answers the question, how far are you moving when you move by this vector? Well, you might be able to spot that we can use Pythagoras on this triangle to work out what this length you move is. If I put a little right angle there, I can just use Pythagoras using these lengths. So remember Pythagoras theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse. So if this is the hypotenuse here, and this is the a and the b, then I can just do 2 squared plus, and I can treat this as a positive length, because lengths are positive, 9 squared. But even if you wrote minus 9 all squared, remember negative squared becomes positive, so it doesn't actually matter. And that gives you c squared. So then, if we do the square root of 2 squared plus 9 squared, that gives us root 85. So that is the magnitude of the vector. So in general, if you want a formula for this, if you have a vector x, y, and you want to find the magnitude of it, and actually there's a symbol we use for the magnitude, it's this. So you put a bar either side of the vector. Then we just did the square root of the x value squared plus the y value squared. So just one more quick example. If I want to find the magnitude of the vector, say, minus 3, 2, then I just do the square root of minus 3 squared, but to be honest, minus 3 squared is the same as 3 squared, so I might as well write it as a positive number, plus the 2 squared, and that would be the square root of 9 plus 4, which is 13.